Okay, welcome to Extreme Recaps. Today, we are going to talk about a horror sci-fi movie called, As the Gods Will, Sit Back and Have Fun. At the start of the movie, three students, Shun, Amaya and Ishika are seen, as a voice in the background laments to God about his dry and boring life. In the next scene, we see Shun along with his friends in the college classroom, where a doll, called Daruma, has forced the students to play a game. The game is called Daruma Sanga Korinda, where an hideous looking Daruma doll with only a head is seen on top the desk in front of the students. The doll turns around after he sings and if he finds someone moving, he kills them and transforms them into red marbles, remember this came out before the Squid Game movie. The remaining students start panicking as they are unaware of the game rules and might end up joining their dead friends. One by one their numbers starts reducing, two of the boys tries to open the door to escape but finds it locked, they're caught moving by the doll and were killed immediately. Suddenly, a gamer boy persuades everyone to read the message at the back of the doll, the message says that the game will be over if they push the button, a guy quickly runs to press the button but the doll turns around and kills him, suddenly, Shun notices that there's a timer on the back of the doll and realizes that they don't have much time left. After hearing this, several other students run to switch it off but every single one of them fails. At last, only Shun and the gamer boy remain as all other students are turned into red marbles making it impossible for them to reach the doll without slipping. With time running out, the gamer boy comes up with an plan and tells Shun to use his back to jump over the dead bodies to press the button, and easily, Shun finally pushes the button, thus ending the game. As the survivors are celebrating, the doll declares Shun the only winner and kills the gamer boy. The movie then cuts to the past when life was boring and normal for Shun, he is sitting on a couch, playing video games and changing channels after the game ends. At school, he is walking with his gamer friend who suggests to ask Ishika out as she passes by on a bike and smiles at him, Ishika is another student in the school who also loves to play video games. Shun replies that he does not have any feelings for her and sees her only as a friend. Both of them head towards the classroom when they meet a boy being beaten up by Amaya, the school bully. Inside the classroom, Shun falls asleep and a loud sound wakes him up. Just then his teacher's head explodes and the Daruma doll appears, the events at the start of the movie continue from here. In the present, Shun starts praying to God to return him to his boring life. The Daruma doll calls Shun a mouse and tells him that a cat is coming for him very soon. Meanwhile, Ishika Akimoto approaches Shun's classroom and is horrified after witnessing its condition. Shun asks her if she knows what's happening but she replies that she's as baffled as he is. They try to call the police but finds no signal, they then try to get out of the school but all the exits and doors are locked. The both of them then runs from the scene towards the basketball court where they are surprised to see some students in mice costumes, who had survived the Daruma doll, they looked at the floor and find the words, fit the cat's bell for it to end. The school president then orders them to wear the mice costumes, just then the floor of the court opens up and a gigantic plastic cat appears from beneath. The big cat starts devouring the students one by one which sends everyone into a state of chaos, Shun notices the ball-like bell with a timer on it, he quickly notifies everyone that in order to end the game, the bell must be passed through the net placed on the cat's neck. One of the students who is a good basketball player shoots the ball but the cat manages to catch it and throws it back at the student killing him instantly. Shun seems to be a genius and quickly notices that the cat is killing only those who are wearing the mice costume, he then suggests everyone remove the costume to which everyone complies. For a while, the cat remains idle but as the students start celebrating the cat devours another one of them, the students start screaming and running again and Ishika falls on the floor. Amidst the chaos, Shun immediately gets into the mouse costume and starts to distract the cat, he realizes that by wearing the costume, one can hear the voice of the cat, all this time the poor cat was just requesting them to scratch its back so that it could sleep quietly, that's just like a cat using violence to ask for a pet. Shun quickly gets on its back and starts scratching it, he then tells the others to join him and the cat finally falls asleep. Now that the cat is asleep, Shun grabs the bell and proceeds to throw it over the hoop, the other students however stop him as they think only the one who scores the bell will be the winner, ultimately they all start quarreling with each other. As they are fighting, the cat wakes up and starts attacking the students again, Shun comes up with a plan once again, he takes Ishika inside and conceals the bell in a regular basketball to deceive the cat, as they throw the ball and are ready to celebrate the bell bounces on the ring but suddenly Amaya arrives in the nick of time and heroically scores the shot, thus ending the game, the cat then declares that only Shun, Ishika and Amaya can live. 
Shun asks about the fate of the losers but before he could get an answer, Amaya kills the remaining students, Amaya then says that only the strongest will survive which is God's will, Amaya approaches Shun and tells him that both of them are alike as they have what it takes to survive, Ishika, on the other hand, disagrees and says that Shun is kinder, stronger and smarter than Amaya, on hearing this Amaya is infuriated and tries to attack her but the cat sprays a gas from its mouth and knocks them all out. In the next scene, a news channel is seen reporting about the incidents happening around the schools as a terrorist attack, another news report shows large cubes hovering above the cities and mentions the defense and the police departments are yet to find any entrance into the cube despite various attempts, the media also reveals that the survivors of the incident are God's children as they are able to survive in such a tough situation. Some media and interviewers along with the professor from a university are seen mentioning the incident as the alien invasion of human existence, next we see a homeless person repairing a damaged radio just by touching it. Later, Shun wakes up in one of the cubes, among the other survivors, he finds Takumi, his childhood friend, along with a shy and timid girl, Tiara, and an arrogant but intelligent student, Tahoka. Shun is disappointed to be finding himself playing the death game again, he tries to escape but finds all the doors locked. Tahoka then informs him that the only way to escape the room is by winning, he also brags that his intelligence will lead him to victory. Through a screen, they're informed that they have to find the keys to escape. Just then, four wooden dolls enter the room, they introduce themselves and the rules of the game, they say that each of the participants will be blindfolded and the dolls will circle them singing songs, when the song stops, the participant will have to guess which one of the four floating Kokeshi wooden dolls is behind them within 10 seconds, failing to guess correctly would result in their death, however, if the Kokeshi dolls lose, one of them will explode releasing an answer key that will open the doors and allow the survivors to go to the next level. The confident Tahoka goes first and Tiara second, both of them fail to answer correctly and are ultimately killed, the dolls then approach Takumi next, but Shun insists on going first, with the help of his intelligence, he wins the game as he was able to know the difference in their voices with the help of his phone, he then reveals that he had recorded their voices when Tiara was playing. After the game ends the dolls explode leaving behind a key which Shun grabs, he then leaves the room along with Takumi. Outside, they see a guy being chased by an ugly looking doll, the guy approaches them and asks them to hold his hand to save his life, he mentions that the dolls can't hurt those holding hands, they decide to help him out and the doll leaves saying that he is jealous of those whose friendship is strong, Shun looks at the pendant Takumi is wearing and goes into a flashback. There, Takumi is ready to commit suicide from a rooftop, when she notices Shun smashing cups and glasses onto a wall to release his anger, Shun then offers Takumi to do the same and she starts breaking the crockery which makes her feel better. At the present, she is wearing the same cup handle that Shun had offered her. Suddenly, they hear a girl's voice screaming from the other side, they run towards the scream and find Ishika running away from the same dreadful doll, Shun jumps to hold her hand immediately and saves her. Soon after, a wall erodes and reveals a doll's face with seven of the key entries, Shun and his group reach the place where two contestants are already waiting, they count their keys but find that three of them are still missing, suddenly Amaya appears at the scene with the remaining keys and kills his companion as only seven of them are able to qualify for the next round, when all of the seven locks are unlocked the doll face announces them as the winners and it erodes backward into the wall making a passage-like structure. Then a voice directs them to follow the passage by wearing the costumes provided. Here it is revealed that all the games are telecasted all over the country. Next, the group finds themselves inside a frozen room, a large polar bear enters and introduces himself, he mentions that he hates liars and black-hearted people. In the game, the contestants just have to do one thing, speak the truth, failing to do so will result in their death. The game begins when he asks everyone about their favorite food, after they reply, the bear suspects someone of lying, the bear gives the participants two minutes to present the liar, at first, they defend their answers but later they all point towards the guy who answered parsley, the bear then instantly stomps him to death, well that's what happens when your favorite food is parsley. For the next question, the bear asks if they like Shun, all of them who knows Shun including Takumi answers yes and the others who don't know him answers no. The bear still believes that one of them is lying to him and again suggests the remaining participants name the liar. All of the participants answer Takumi as the liar, as Shun and Takumi were out of contact for a long time. Despite Shun's best attempts to save Takumi, she gets killed. Devastated by the loss of his friend Shun screams that the liar and traitor among them is none other than the white bear himself. It turns out to be true and the bear sheds his white color and reveals his original color to be black, as all the lies are caught.
The game officially ends and the survivors are taken to the last game. The remaining five participants are taken to a temple. After the door opens, three wooden dolls welcomes them and also congratulate them for making it this far. The three of the dolls introduce themselves as fitness, intelligence and imagination. They reveal the last game name is, kick the can for it to end, one of the participants will be the demon and the rest will be the victims, until the demon places the can on the designated place, the victims will get their time to hide, the demon will then have to find all the victims, he will have to name them after seeing their faces, after which he can imprison them inside the cells. In this way, if he imprisons them all and kicks the can he will be the winner, however, if a victim manages to kick the can the other victims will be considered the winner and the demon will lose but the victim who kicks the can will die, as the can explodes. Then the five take turns picking sticks with the red stick going to the demon, Amaya obtains the red stick, he quickly places the can on the ground and starts searching for the others, two of the students are quickly captured, Ishika then sacrifices herself in order to distract Amaya while Shun escapes. After imprisoning Ishika, Amaya screams that he doesn't need to find Shun to win the game, and despite Ishika's advice to hide, Shun comes out wearing an armored suit, with which he is hiding his face, Shun then tells Amaya that it is impossible for him to get caught as his face is covered up, Amaya finds this ridiculous and he quickly takes off Shun's helmet, as Amaya proceeds to kick the can and end the game, he realizes that Shun has attached an iron chain to him, Shun then jumps into the water and starts dragging Amaya with him, Amaya struggles to pull Shun out of the water, he sees that Shun has removed the armor and is slowly proceeding towards the can. Suddenly, Amaya manages to break free and runs towards the can but Shun kicks it first before him. They prepare for the explosion but nothing happens, the game is finally over and the dolls declare everyone winners except Amaya, they also reveal that the explosion was just a lie to make the game even more interesting, an enraged Amaya then grabs one of the dolls and says that he isn't supposed to die as he was chosen by God, the dolls start laughing and reveal that no one was supposed to die. The winners are then congratulated with fireworks in the sky, the dolls also provide some ice cream to celebrate their success while eating the ice cream, Shun finally asked Ishika for a movie date and also expresses his feelings for her. Ishika happily agrees but when their ice creams melt they see something written on the sticks, the dolls then reveal that despite making it this far, they need luck to live. Amaya and Shun notice the words, you live, on their sticks while the other three including Ishika find the words, you die, a doll then kills the losers as Shun watches in horror, while Ishika disappears into thin air. Shun and Amaya finally emerge from the cube where they are cheered by a large crowd, they're calling them God's children, Amaya rejoices but Shun bends down in despair, declaring there is no God after all of his losses, one of the dolls corrects him saying that God does exist. The movie ends the same homeless man from before is revealed to be God. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help this channel out, thank you for watching.